<sighs> hey, Jeffrey. We're almost at the top of this mountain. Don't give up now. Oh, this trip is getting crazy long. How much do we have left to travel? Not too much now. What we're doing right now is a tiny little part of Abram's journey. Who? Oh, I'll explain when I get to the top of the mountain. We finally we made it to the top of our trek. Ah, oh, I'm so tired. Yay, let's celebrate by jumping up and down. Woo, woo, yeah. Relax, we just climbed all of that. Wait, I remember like a few minutes ago, you just mentioned a guy called Abram. Who is that? Oh, right. Abram is a man who went on a super long trek. It took him many, many years to finish his trek. But we have to start from the beginning to understand why he went on such a long journey. You know how in the beginning, in the Garden of Eden, Adam and Eve lived in a perfect relationship with God. But they disobeyed him. Oh yeah, I remember that. They were tricked into eating the one thing God them told them not to eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This caused them to create a rift between them and God. But God had a plan to restore their once perfect relationship. Wow, God really has a plan for everything. Yeah, can you guess what the plan was? Uh, he gave them a super hard test? Uh, try again. Uh, he gave them two super hard tests? Uh, try again, last try. Uh, he gave them three super hard tests. Oh, oh, never mind, I'll just tell you. He made a covenant. A covenant, what? A covenant is an extra special promise. And we know that God always keeps his promises. You're right, but what was the promise to the people? You remember Abram, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy that was walking and walking and walking. Yeah, so God told Abram to leave his home and set off on a journey. God promised Abram that he would have as many descendants as there were stars in the sky. Stars in the sky? That's a lot of descendants. Yeah. God also promised Abram and his descendants that they would find a place to live in. And this would be known as the Promised Land. Ooh, the promised land. That sounds really cool, but as I recall, Abraham was really, really old. Isn't he too old to have kids anymore? Uh, normally you would be right, but God always keeps his promises. He blessed Abraham's wife Sarah with a child. At this time, he changed his name to Abraham, which actually means father of many nations. What a fitting name for someone whose kids are going to be like the stars. This covenant was really kept through such a long period of time. It went as long as we've been alive. Yeah, isn't that super cool? Abram's complete faith in God allowed him to receive the gift of salvation and restore the relationship with our one holy God. Wow, I wonder if any of his descendants, you know, like the stars were actually star. I wonder if they're actually famous or something. You know what's funny? One of his descendants was actually Jesus. Jesus blessed the whole world by making a way for us to be saved from our sins. Wait, what? So you're saying this whole thing started from the covenant made to Abraham? The Jesus story? Yeah, and it still carries on today. Because if you belong to Christ, then you are a part of Abraham's family and can receive the inheritance of eternal life.